and welcome to back to bug out survivor we're looking at the jj's bergen this is a long back convoluted bergen in mtp so far this has had three modifications that are possible for your bergen but if you want to tailor your bergen at home there's a whole mini series coming up uh, which will come out every couple of weeks every three weeks or so with an extra modification for your bergen so on the left is the jj's bergen and this is one i've done myself on the right and we can look at how we can tailor our own bergens quite simply another option is to send it off to a pro and give them some money to do it for you so whether you send your pack off to jj's or have a go at doing it yourself there's going to be something for everyone but before we get into tailoring your own bergen we're going to look at the jj's bergen we're going to look at the three modifications i've had done on this with jj's and i think there's another at least another six modifications that i want to do to this once you finish modifying your bergen the value of it will skyrocket so you're never going to be out of pocket if you want to sell it on afterwards so it's a good investment it's worth doing first let's have a close look at the modifications that i've already done this one is the radio operator's pouch on top of course there's no requirement to put a radio in there just because that's how it comes in mine i've got my basher and as you can see it's double entry for the zips in time the basher pouch will go to the front the zips or crash zips you can pull them apart just by pulling it's great to have a full set of waterproofs up here really like my Gore-Tex jacket Gore-Tex pants you can put whatever you want up here loops on each zip as well modification I think is worth it I think in the beginning I told you I had three modifications it's actually four just can't count these bottles here are for a floating lid start loosening off these bottles which hold the lid to the frame I can start expanding the actual lid itself just a floating lid now this is gonna be great for me because I might want to put the sleeping bag from now on on top in the compression sack rather than shoving it down the bottom just as an idea to transport alternative kit okay that's loose at the back I'm going to loosen it off at the front now the lid can come to its full expansion here this for me it's going to be great because i want to carry kit in an alternative manner this is going to allow for that and once you have your expansion tie it down or of course you can just put it back to standard and pull the straps all the way with no expansion for a small extra fee while you're at JJ's get yourself a couple of extra bottles these are replacements for the ones in tan here if anything happens to these you've got spares these just have electrical cord ties around them to hold them in place uh, future modifications will be a basher pouch on the front here and a triple utility on the front now i've done all these modifications on my own bergen tailoring it myself but this one i'm only going to let jj's touch let's have a look at the wider shoulder straps and in order for you to appreciate a wider shoulder strap i'm going to put it into comparison with my other bergen the extra room it gives you is about a thumbs width as you can see there 
Much the same in the thickness. This does not have a breathable shoulder mesh, but the extended width shoulder straps do. They're very nice, very comfortable. They have the same MTP webbing all the way down, so you can hang things under there. It, this is wider and it's well worth doing a modification like that. Another modification would be the actual back pad itself. This is one I've done myself. This is one JJ's has done for me. This is called the back cushion. I've gone for a full pad with the one I've sewn on myself. This is the JJ's shoulder strap. We can count two ribs down and we come to a mesh and that's all it is really is a piece of mesh I don't think there's any additional padding other than this mesh we'll have a look at all the stitching a little later and this is one I've sewn on myself onto the short back whether you send it off to JJ's or do it yourself a back cushion really does help the extra wider straps also help tremendously the modification well worth doing the back pad obviously i've tried with and without and the shoulder straps and the back pad were the first thing to change on this bergen before putting on basher pouches triple pouches or even the extra expansion for the sleeping bag on my short back here that i've modified myself the shoulder straps are standard You'll notice the JJ's does not have the triple that is on the one on the right. Neither does it have a basher pouch. This is the one I've done myself, which has a basher pouch on the front. Triple utility down the bottom there. Now you can send your Bergen off to JJ's to have triples put on and a basher pouch. I thought it was a lot more prudent to do the back system before concentrating on pouches. Your back support is going to be everything. It makes the load feel easier to carry, so I went for those options first. Now, it's not actually that expensive to tailor with JJ's. Take the rocket pockets off, take the frame out, send it off, it comes back to you once it's paid for. So, this will be going off and having the triples put on the bottom and the basher pouch over it much like this bergen here that i've done myself but it'll easily accommodate your jet boil spare rations and i think in that one i have the bergen cover itself let's have a look at the stitch work for jj's up close the placement of it is absolutely bang on it's where it should be it looks like a double row of uh, back stitches Coming back to the back of the Bergen, the floating lid. One section has been sewn to the lid of the Bergen. It has a half box stitch section here. So he hasn't gone the other diagonal. But you can see he's gone across two or three times and just finished off with one diagonal. I don't know why I didn't finish off with a box stitch, but I think the three rows of stitching on the top and the bottom are gonna be more than secure. As you can see, there's no frayed materials from where he cut the lid. The shoulder straps, well, they have been spaced, I should imagine, further apart than the original. The breather mesh, nicely sewn on to the Kudura or the outer fabric and the daisy loops are triple or quadruple stitched back cushion i cannot see how he's done it it's very very clever the shoulder straps and the back cushions are the first thing you should look at before um, aesthetics go for your comfort first a little extra you can buy is the sternum strap it's not a lot of money But if you want to do modifications like this at home, there is a 12 part mini series following every two, three weeks. We'll do something different with the Bergen. 
But if you don't like having a go at doing it yourself, like I said, the alternative is to send it off and pay somebody else to have it done. And I don't think the prices of having it done with JJ's is bad at all, not bad at all. Drawing to a conclusion what I actually think of the craftsmanship from JJ's, I think it's superior to anything I could do, obviously. Theirs is machined, all my work is hand sewn. Um, and it's puzzled me how they actually do some of the modifications. It's really clever, not that dear to do. JJ's, yes, get it done, get it done. If you're more inclined to want to do it yourself and you have a bit of time on your hands and a few pouches, I don't think it's that difficult to do it yourself. So I enjoyed doing it myself, to be honest with you, but I do want at least one Bergen that is professionally done for me, which will be the JJ's. Starts off as standard as any other Bergen and comes back to you by post with all the modifications on. A lot of soldiers prefer to do that, but I just like tinkering with little projects like this anyway. So drawing to an end here, quality of JJ's, second to none, very affordable in my opinion. Uh, it takes about a couple of weeks and uh, in the current climate of uh, CV19, three weeks, maybe four. I would definitely recommend JJ's this one. There's about seven or eight modifications so far and this is ready to go on the open market once you make modifications to Bergen they sell like hotcakes okay look out for the tailoring videos every two three weeks or so uh, I'll try and fit them in conjunction with other stuff we're doing on the channel I'll see you out there happy trails